Hi, I'm Asia. I'm Mary. And we are here to review the very first episode of Sailor Moon Crystal. Um, <laughs> as most of you know, this series is based off the um, manga that was released back in the 90s. As a basic introduction to Sailor Moon, you know, the whole thing of Serena finding out that she is Sailor Moon by the help of Luna, the talking cat from the Moon Kingdom, if you're looking at me. <laughs> um, and basically the whole set up as to who she is and who she's going to be and being a 14 year old crybaby and we still love her for that regardless and we still love you Serena. I'm going to be using American names because I honestly will hate myself if I butcher the Japanese names so I'm sorry. But um, <laughs> overall I will say this, the opening definitely favorite right now. The song is great. I think it's called Moonlight Ride if I'm not mistaken. I'm not sure, honestly. Okay. It's pretty catchy. That that and the guitar riff is definitely inviting, and you see the beautiful opening animation right away. You see the girls, you know, like being like, oh, we're going to save the world and do this together. It's, it's, it's very inviting. I loved it. And, of course, you see Queen Beryl and her little comrade. Yeah, I think the best line in that theme song is, you know, women don't need no man. Exactly. Definitely. <laughs> 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 the highlight of the theme song, yeah, obviously. It is the highlight. And animation, once again, beautiful, well done. Um, really true to the manga, the art style in the series. So it's not, so it's kind of typical 90s style, but of course it's a lot cleaner and modern looking. Exactly. I mean, you know, like, why would you want to have an anime that's been updated, but yet look more... Toss the manga. Okay. If, so for anyone who's not seen the manga, you can kind of see where the art style came from. Um... Definitely true to the manga in terms of art, so I just find yourself in, but whatever. And we actually took a look at the very first volume, chapter. Um, basically the first episode, right there. Faithful to it. We, like, I even made sure I looked at it before I even looked at the um, episode. It's pretty much exactly the same. Yeah, it's a few little tweaks here and there, but, you know, you can't have everything to the nitty gritty. But, you know, it's, it's great, it's awesome, and... It's beautiful. <laughs> oh. Manga? It's yeah. Inside. I'm going to do it exactly. <laughs> but, um, my, definitely one of my nitpicks would have to be the transformation sequence. And this is something that I'm pretty sure a lot of people are going to agree with me on because it's CGI. And honestly, Japan knows their CGI. They do. They do. But at the same time, it's like, I kind of wish they and through that at least. Yeah, it's a little kind of startling. Of course, you want the transformation scene to stand out from the other scenes in the episode, but to make it CGI was not the right route, I think, for this, especially just the way it looks technical. You know, it just would have been better if it just was kept hand-drawn. Yeah. And this would fit more into, like, I don't know, I feel a little awkward watching that every time she has to transform for, like, an entire minute in each episode. Because remember, folks, as the as Nostalgia Critic said, this is a 14-year-old girl. <laughs> well, it's not. <laughs> but, yeah, but besides that, you know, definitely the episode is good for all the newcomers coming in and definitely good for those who, you know, remember the old show and want to see a revamp version. It's fine. There's, like, also, I guess a little nitpick would be some of the hair color choices. I, I don't know. Like, ju just seeing Miss Haruna, I'm sorry, but it was just an odd choice. Like a little odd, like a little lighter so brown. Someone complaining about someone's weave. Oh, girl, you shouldn't have gotten that weave. Like, it's just a haircut. Sure, I'm, I'm we not... disagree on this. <laughs> exactly. My hair's on point. <laughs> you... Okay, Miss Sang over there. Get her hair done at the salon. Whatever. This is all me, shoot. Anywho. <laughs> As I can see, it's late. Oh, no, you can't see it's late. Anywho. Um, <laughs> and I also love the interaction between Serena and Darren for the first time because, again, really good setup. I mean, yeah, there's a little twins of sparkle, sparkle, like, oh, wait a minute, there's a reason why I think I like you. Same here. Why do I like you? We're going to find out soon, aren't we? Aren't we? Exactly. <laughs> You're making some funny faces right now. Well, of course I do. I'm animated. <laughs> but... It's just, you know, it's simple. Like, boy meets girl, there's a past we need to figure out. We're going to get to that. 
And of course, if you already saw the show originally back in the 90s and read the manga, you know what the story is, and I don't even need to say much about it. For the newcomers. Goes on her hips, not even on her legs. Sorry. <laughs> just, just noticing how many the miniskirt is. Just like, here's her butt, but here's her skirt. It's basically a blue napkin. <laughs> a blue loincloth. Yes. A pleated, pleated blue loincloth. Cloth. Yes. Yes. Um, so you were saying <laughs> this review has gone away. It's, yeah. Okay. But, um, yeah, definitely this is something that we as, we as adults need to just sit down and just say this is what it's going to be. And if you really, really don't want to look at this, that is completely fine. That's your personal preference. If you think the 90s version is better, by all means, let it be better than this. For those of you coming into this show, let, I'm just letting you know right now, if anyone out there you know has seen the original and is trying to tell you otherwise, don't make a personal choice until you actually see this first episode. This, and also, there's also an anime rule out there that if you watch the first three episodes of something, it'll give you a choice as to whether or not you're going to want to continue. Now, basically, this show has the same exact formula that it did in the original and in the manga, which is simple. Girl, you know, is being normal for like half the episode and then something evil happens and then she transforms. Then the, and then the guy comes in saving her and then it's like, okay, I'm going to use my powers now and destroy the monster. Yay! The monster is destroyed. The evil person has lost once again for the same exact time and then we go back to reality and it's like, okay, I'm just an ordinary girl again. Woohoo! But it's the same formula. It's going to be repetitive and it's a magical girl show. I mean, if you really don't get that by now, I don't know what to tell you. It, this, is, this is what happens when you get a very passionate person talking about something they've loved since they were a kid. You can't see the Sailor Moon posters hidden around this room. There's only one, actually. I only have one now. Oh, only one now? Wow, what a travesty. Oh, no. but, but, yeah, but back to the show. It's beautifully drawn. Definitely something good for anyone to look at. Um... Now, I would definitely say character-wise, you're going to see a lot of characters. Um, Serena's character is, this again, she is a ditz. Teenager. She likes, you know, video games. She's Let's a crybaby. Exactly. I mean, she's a klutz. Uh, trust me, the, I mean, we could, we could easily have made a clip of how many, of how many times she had to guard herself hit, hurt. We should have a compilation. We could. We should. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But definitely, uh, character-wise, uh, personality is there. Darian's personality may have been a little skewed by the little time he got, but, I mean, you already know off the bat what he's about, sort of. Okay, maybe not so much in the first Okay, she's going to find out later on. Exactly. Character development, right? Yeah. Didn't, he looks great in glasses. Shh, fangirl. Okay. Fangirl is out of ten. All right, fine, sorry. <laughs> but, yes... Definitely check this out. Um, but yeah, this is all we have to say for now. And definitely we're going to continue this. And hopefully we'll be a little more professional. Basically, that review, if you're entirely by yourself. I'm okay with that. Because I don't yeah. like talking to the camera. Uh, yeah. You're, you're, a, tro- I'm just <laughs> <laughs> you're a trooper. Oh, all right. yes. And I'm also, you're also lucky. I'm good at editing shit. At least decent. Fairly decent for someone who doesn't edit often. Yay! All right, but thanks so much, guys. So yeah, thanks for watching us ramble and probably be incoherent and inaudible. We're hoping that you'll hear us. Um, Working with just a computer, again. but it's a Mac, so maybe it's gonna be kind of good. Who knows? Yeah, but yeah. See you for episode two. Bye. Bye.